message from General Pepper. Priority one. We need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared war. He's invaded the Lilat system and is trying to take over Corneria. Our army alone can't do the job. Hurry, Star Fox. Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091 and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is, of course, Star Fox 64. Probably one of my uh, most favorite N64 games, well, ever. I used to play this game like no other when I was younger. I just loved it like no other. I just loved it. And a little cool thing here too, here too is like if you like move around the uh, control stick here, they follow it. So I'm just going to be doing this for a little bit when I just talk about the game. Star Fox 64 is essentially a reboot of the original Star Fox game that came out on the Super Nintendo. Um, so, I, I, I know some people are thinking maybe it's a sequel or imagine of retelling, but it, it's basically a reboot of the series for N64. And the, the series in general, I love them. It just I don't I haven't really played too much of it besides this game and the one for Super Nintendo. The ones on the GameCube and like the, I think the one for the DS I haven't really touched, but uh, I've heard mixed things, some some good, some bad. So I guess it's just people's opinions. But this game, like, it just, it was great because it also introduced a rumble pack for the N64, you know? It's like, holy crap, you know, vibration feedback? That's awesome! So, um, yeah, and, uh, this is gonna be a complete run of the game, which means that, uh, I'll go through all the planets, which means I gotta play this game probably, like, two times, three times, not really sure. So before we get going, let's take a look at the options here we have. Main game, of course, is story, training, uh, well, it tells you how to play the game, but don't worry, I'll tell you how to do that. Uh, versus, if you can play multiplayer, you could. Uh, I believe if you beat the game like 100% and whatnot, you can actually play on the ground, like, you know, f on foot. Uh, but I'm, I'm not sure. Ranking, uh, there is leaderboards here, you know, if you want to brag and whatnot. Sound is, you know, sound, whatever. Um, uh, data, you know, if you just want to clear it or whatever, you can go ahead and do it here. But, uh, let's go ahead and begin uh, the game here, and uh, let's uh, find out a little bit more about, well, this game and the overall story. Corneria, fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McCloud, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Peppy were captured by Andros. Peppy barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. And that's your little bit of story right there. Um, Andros used to be a scientist or whatever for Corneria, and, uh, well, he went evil and got banished to Venom, which is like this big planet we have right here, which is the uh, final planet we have to go to. Um, now you see, like, all these plants. It's like, wow, Fairy, you're actually going through all of them right now? Well, no. You can see, like, these two lines coming out of the Corneria. Can you say a damn word? 
Here's these two lines going out, depending on which uh, actions we take in, the, uh, in this mission, we go to a different planet. Now, there's, like I said, I got, I'm going to go through all the planets, which means I had to go play the game a couple times to do so. There's an easy route, which is basically the bottom planets, uh, the middle route, which is like well, the middle ones, and the uh, hard route, which is the one, all the planets on top. And uh, so, yeah, uh, at first, I'm just going to go through the easy route, you know, and uh, show you off, show off everything there, then show off a little bit of the medium, the medium route, uh, and then uh, well, switch it to the hard. And uh, I think that's about it, really. Um, we'll just go ahead and just pop in here to uh, Quinaria and just get this game going, finally. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. But something I kind of miss about the original Star Fox for the Super Nintendo was like the way they talk. They taught like they talk like in a foreign language because like they're from the Lilat system. So it, it sounded like blah, 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 blah. and they don't do that here. Open the wing. I thought there were rumors like long ago that they, you can actually unlock their voices like that in this game, or I'm not sure. Maybe it's from one of the other GameCube games, I don't know. Check your defuser system. But in case we just get to, uh, get to meet some of the players here, or the teammates. Falco, here. I'm fine. Falco Lombardi, he's uh, kind of a smart ass, but uh, he always means good, I guess. This is Pepe. All systems go. Pepe O'Hare, the one who worked with Fox's father, James, and a veteran of the team. Libby here. I'm okay. And Slippy Toad, which nobody really cares about, but uh... I guess we just have to put up with him. Let's rock, and roll. Let's rock and roll indeed, Fox. Game start! So you press A to shoot. You can hold A to do a charge uh, laser like that. And you can press uh, double tap R or Z to go ahead and uh, do a barrel roll. You can press B to go ahead and uh, throw a bomb. Use L. Uh, increases your... Um, I was gonna say it makes our laser even powerful and now it's green so I have twin lasers and I can pick it up one more time to get blue twin lasers and it makes it really powerful and I have mentioned before uh, pressing B unleashes the bombs it is like well what a bomb does it removes anything pretty much you know in the vicinity of the bomb these gold rings not only um, gain a little bit of your health back but if you collect three of them you will it will extend your health bar. Uh, so here's the other laser right here. Now you see we have blue. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. I really took... Wow, that was terrible. Well, and what I just did right there, I broke uh, using... I broke whatever... Oh, God. Using the down button on my uh, C-stick. And you press left on the C-stick, you can actually boost. Now here's a little thing that um, a lot of people new to the game don't really realize, but Falco can actually get knocked down here if you don't uh, get rid of those enemies right there. Now you could speed up and you use a charge laser, but what I like to do is just, you know, throwing a bomb right there and gets rid of them. And actually, about your teammates, yes, they can be brought down. And if they are brought down in the mission, then, well, they won't be available for the next mission. And that's where uh, Peppy's famous lines come into play right there, do a barrel roll. So yeah, and so you want to make sure you, you want to try keeping your allies, you know, um, alive. Because although they're, they don't really help too much, you just kind of want them there. Why the hell not? Actually, I know Slippy. Um, if he survives, he actually oh, let me get the Zelda gold ring. He actually uh, shows off the the uh, boss gauge or the, the, the boss's health. Why the hell did on here somersault down with the, the control stick and, and left on the C buttons to do a somersault? It helps. So yeah, I could have just done it more there. And I believe if you collect three more gold rings after you already extend your health, then um, you get a health. You get, you get a life. What up? What the hell am I trying to say? I, I think you can do it here. Here's the first boss. Let me see if I can do a somersault under him. Well, I kind of screwed it up, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it again. But uh, I believe you can get a one up there as well. But eh, whatever. See, he analyzes his shields and brings it up. So all you gotta do here is, uh, you know, knock him, knock down one of the, knock down one of the um, 
the legs. And you see now we're in a free range mode. So now we can go anywhere we want. And uh, if you go to the edge here, it brings back like that. And this boss is stupidly pathetic. I brought him down and now he's got to hit his back. And now he is dead. So that was really, really easy for the first boss. But once again, this is the easy route, so, um... Either way, this game is not too bad. We're heading out. At least not for me. I play this game like no other. It's one of those games I always go back to just to relax. I absolutely love this game. Man, Peppy got hit really bad. I just hope he stays, uh, stays a little bit. And then uh, after each mission, it tells you how many, how many uh, enemies brought down. It shows the stats of your team. And um, I believe you get a better score the more the more health they gain back. So that's actually pretty cool. And the little sparkly thing there, I'm not sure if it's just if, if you get it, if you have a certain amount of kills, I don't know, because you can earn medals on each planet, and that's if you uh, break the, I don't know, score limit, I guess, for, the, um, for that planet. I could be wrong there. Uh, how do you get it, but whatever. So you see now the line, the path is blue, because that means I'm showing the easy route. So, that's that. Now let's go on to the other area here, which is the meteor asteroid field. Impressive, Star Fox. Now watch out for enemies in the asteroid field. I won't let you down, sir. You know, playing this always does kind of, re um, it makes me kind of miss the one for Super Nintendo. Like, I, I kind of want to go back and play that one as well, but... I am not good at that one. Not like I'm, yeah, not not very good at it. This one I'm, I'm better at. Um, so that's why I kind of decided I'm gonna do Star Fox 64 and not the original Star Fox. Quit dinking around, Slip. Yeah, quit dinking around, Slip. We're heading into the asteroid. And it was cool. As you press up on your uh, the C the C buttons, you can actually go into uh, your cockpit mode. Cockpit mode. The hell, did I just saved there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like do I I, I like the uh, first person. Or, I mean, uh, third person view, view here for aircraft. So. And actually, did I mention that um, what is it? If you take too much damage, you can actually break your wings. And that's not good, because if you break your wings, then you're going to lose your upgrade to your, uh, well, to your lasers, and you'll always start veering to whatever direction that your the wing's gone from. So you really want to keep, you know, damage uh, to, you know, minimal. I'm not saying I'm the best at this game, but, uh... Uh, I, I probably will break my wings at one point or another. So this is here, a really good point to try a somersault here. Now, I was, I, was, I was a little hesitant about how I should record this game because, you know, I... Um, and I, I could have brought brought up my N64 and, you know, and, and you know the game and record it this way, but I figured I might as well do it um, through the emulator. The issue is it's like, man, I, I have a... Oops, I used the wrong thing there. I just missed the call, but I'll call, this, I'll call him back. Um, oh, shoot! Okay, I don't know how the hell I made that. But, um... Oh, a couple times, Rob64, who's like the, uh, our attendant, I guess? He, he supports us. Uh, if you press right whenever the button comes up, he will give you supplies. And it's always a good idea to pick those up. Sometimes it can be bombs, sometimes it can be laser upgrades, maybe a wing repair. And if you, if you break your wings, you can repair them if you pick up the wing wing repair item or icon, whatever. Ah, eh, there you go, Peppy. Uh, what else did I want to say? I keep forgetting. What else is there about this game? Hmm. I don't even know. Oh, well, if you uh, use a charge attack laser like this and you take out a group of enemies, you actually get a couple of bonus hits. So if you're anyone out there looking to you know, do a, uh, you know, like a score attack run or whatever, get, get your high scores, and that's a really good way to do it. Uh, what else is there to explain? I, I, and the, I guess the meter. Uh, all, everything on top there. You got your health on the top left. You have your score, or the, how, many, how many enemies you destroy on the level. Uh, the amount of lives you have in the top right. 
your bomb amount, I guess it's your and you also have like that gauge, and pretty much it depletes whenever you break or um or boost. So that's about it. And also, I forgot to mention this game was remade for the 3DS. Um, now, if you guys want to, I mean, if you can't f uh, find this on N64 or like any of these uh, you know, um, whatever game stores may have them. I recommend picking them up, picking up the game one way or another, you know, on the, either the N64 or 3DS. So, um, I mean, this game is just, it's amazing, at least to me it is, uh, it's just uh, something I grew up with like no other. I've been meaning to cover this game, oops. And you could actually, you can, you can actually kill your teammates if you hit them enough, and, but you, you, you want to avoid that. Um, let's see, ah, oh, crap, baby. So I got another life there, good. Uh, what else is there? What was I gonna say? I, I keep losing my train of thought of this game. I don't know. This game is. I, I get too engrossed in it. I, I, I don't know. I lost count how many times I've actually been in this game already. Um, it simply is one of those games I just go go back to time to time, and it's like you know I want to play it. Oh, yeah, I think I was saying like I I just I've been meaning to cover this game on my channel for the longest time, but I don't know why the hell I just never did. And I was like, you know what? I want to do it now. And well, here I am. Yeah, I believe the boss is coming up right here. And Andros sure employs really weird characters. This boss is uh, pretty easy as well. I'll go in the cockpit and just do it for this. He has a bunch of like these flashing points like a lot of these enemies do. You want to destroy that. Because if you hit the green part too many times, he'll shoot you like that. So, um, yeah, make sure you just shoot the yellow. That's e it's easy enough. So that's like the first phase. Now you see, oh man, there's a little empty space here. What's gonna happen? Well, this is what's gonna happen. Oh, just stay away from the middle. Attack the uh, big yellow orangey uh, thing. Oh my god, there we go. And you, you notice how we're, we're the ones who are like doing all the work here. I'm no um, for you. Our team members are just kind of flying around the background. I admit, maybe firing one shot or two, but they're not really doing anything. The, the game's pretty much you have to do all the work. Are you gonna listen to that monkey? Ooh, uh, you're not another two flashing points. Rock. This one you gotta watch out for because these rings are be a little iffy. But do it quick enough, and boom, there you go. I can't believe I lost to this. Dumb. Sorry to jet, but I'm in a hurry. Oh, that sounded so 90s. Or not even 80s. Sorry to jet. You know what they talk, I don't know. Oh, they, Nintendo needs to make another Star Fox game, like a straight up good one. Um what is it? You know they would we, if you had the one in Super Nintendo. I kinda wish they made Star Fox 2 for Super Nintendo. I mean that that was never released. Um, or it's canceled, whatever. Apparently, there, there's a... You can find it online somewhere. I don't know. Uh, then you got this game. And then you got uh, the two that came out for the GameCube, I believe. It was like, you know, Star Fox Adventure, which a lot of people were saying, What the hell? You, you know, you dinosaurs and, you know, fox fights. Like, you know, human... I, whatever. And then there's Star Fox Assault, which I heard is a little bit better. And I believe there's also one for the DS, which is um, Star, Fox, Star Fox Command, I believe. And what else is there? Of course, and then there's the remake on the 3DS. But they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't make a Star Fox game for the uh, Wii. And so far, nothing's been announced for the Wii U. But I feel like Nintendo really should do that because I think a lot of fans would absolutely love if they did it. Okay, guys. Well, this is it. I'm, what I'm going to do for the introductory episode. I hope I explain what I need to be explained here. I mean, I'm sure maybe you guys got sick of me explaining stuff. But, um... It just when it, when it comes to this game, I just go on 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 because it's like I know so much about it and I, I just love it. I don't know as much as I should, granted, but uh, I, I don't know everything. But I just it's a great game regardless, you know. And this LP should be somewhat short. I mean, depending how long these um, plans take me, uh, it'll probably be around ten parts. I'm assuming. We'll see what's up. In any any case, guys, uh, uh, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I hope um. Well, I forgot my intro. Oh, this is great. I seriously think about it right now. As usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. There you go. 
uh, for Let's Play Star Fox 64. I'll see you guys later.